What's up guys, welcome back to Viewer Castle. Today we're going to start off with the Electric Volts. Castle levels of 29, validated on this mage. Um, I'm going to give my mage a try here. Level 29 should be able to be done. Alright, so let's jump into this castle. See what he's got going on. Alright. This is a pretty standard, like, some sort of a death trap room coming up. So I'm going to just build up a little stun immunity, but not take too much damage. Alright, my stun immunity should be maxed. I didn't really need it for anything, but... Oh my god, the silence is killing me. But that that uh, thunderclap is just such a long stun that it really doesn't matter much. Waiting until the shield goes off. I actually got... I think I got... I took damage from the, uh, the smelly warrior there, so it, it dealt a lot of damage to me. Or else... I probably wouldn't have taken hardly any there. And the silence hurt. Like, those two things had to be true for me to take damage from that. Alright, so I didn't need to kill that totem, but I did anyway. Alright, I'm going to use a potion here, because I think I'm going to take a lot of damage. So it looks like, I don't know if both of them are on Bola Strike or just one. I would prefer it if it was just one. I can understand why you would use one Bola Strike though, because the slow will help the uh, Skeletor there catch up. So that's pretty good. I mean, it's about the best thing that you can do is to assist him, is to slow down the attacker as much as possible. That, <laughs> that's actually kind of weird. There's like a, a barricade and right next to it is an actual Squidly. I didn't actually catch that there was a Squidly there. Too bad Squidlies are kind of bad, just in general. They're bad units. But only one of them, it doesn't matter. Extra two points, that's fine. Alright. I wonder if um, that specific kind of Jimbo... So he, he drops his shield if he's close to you, but what if your skeletons are attacking him and you're like way back here and the skeletons are up there attacking him? Will, they, will he drop his shield when he's attacking them? I'm guessing he will because it'll probably behave the same way. It looked like the shield was a little... Oh, that's cool. This is actually really cool. I like this. Yeah, I like this a lot. I could actually take a lot of damage here. That's done so long. So I think that my... Uh, my Thunderclap will go through the wall and actually hit these goat men over here. Yeah, it does, but... Alright, that was okay. I liked the, uh, I liked the Ram Bomb, though. Or the Ram Skull, rather. <laughs> or no, it's Ram Bomb. Never mind. I, I psyched myself out. I thought I was wrong. I like this, though. Um, does this one throw you that way as well? Yeah, it puts you right into this little corner with four, uh... I don't know if it's all four of them are, um, green corrosive mines, but either way, it's still really good. It kind of sets... Uh, ram, ram bomb up for a really good attack. That's actually an interesting way of using him. It's a lot of points commitment to try to use a creature that like a Devlin by himself would probably be better. Like four, like three Devlin, that's the same cost. But it's still okay to try to make use of it. Alright, looks like maybe the boss room right here? Yeah. So I'm actually trying to wait for a second so that my uh, my cooldown came back up. That's what I was waiting for. Wow, he jumped on me again. That doesn't actually normally happen. Usually he only jumps when he first initiates or if you get too far away. But I was like mid-range there. Alright, I'll use another potion. Even these potions, the lesser strength potions, still heal me for full, which is kind of ridiculous now. I need to kill off these healers. This is, like, destroying me right now. Because nothing's dying. Is he really healing himself? I thought that changed a while ago. They Maybe, maybe they brought it back for some reason. Yeah, I'm actually getting wrecked. This is actually a problem with the, uh... 
with the major it used to be before the double damage. Oh, this is going to kill me. Wow. I can't believe he did those two abilities right next to each other. That hardly ever happens. So he jumped on me, and then he breathed fire. And, like, you can't get away from it because the stun is long enough where it just kills you. Um, I don't think I'm going to heal back up and, like, go through this because there's not really a reason to. It's This is at the end. But, yeah. It used to be a problem with the mage that he didn't have enough single target damage to get through... Uh, to get through... Uh, a Doctor Skull that was healing constantly. So like with two Doctor Skulls it's even harder, but that that went away before when the da damage buff, the double damage came in, and maybe it's back a little bit, but uh, this was in the time where I used to use double Defendatron, Pete Poundmore, and Doctor Skull, and that was my boss room, and mages died to it all the time. It was like a, 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 a Defendatron guarding the uh, Dr. Skull and then Pete Palmore and a Defendatron, and this was before boss rooms were unlimited, right? So that was like uh, the perfect amount. But yeah, I'm gonna just leave this castle. It's a really good castle, and I like the boss room. It's the boss room like cut through three potions, and I didn't kill hardly anything. I could have focused the healers a little bit better though. Anyway, we'll jump into number two in just a second. All right, next up is Ocelix Castle of 30, valued on his archer. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on my archer as well. So let's jump into it here. Alright. So far this first room is kind of interesting. There's a Defendatron down there. I don't think I can hit it from here, but I can try. I think it actually hit the the trap down there. I don't know. Um, so let's see. How do I want to do this? Oh my god, I got stuck. That was weird. I think I want to go around to this side. And just kind of jump in and hope. God, that's so much damage. I just need to get into this room now, and I'm silenced. I'm gonna die here. I'm out of potions as well. I don't have four. I only have... I only took three with me this time. So I'm out of potions now. But I'd use two potions this first room. I guess those first guys just died because they, uh, they got thrown to the caustic carpet there. Um, but that was a really good room. Yeah, I actually want to take a look at this again just to see exactly what you did because I like this. I always see these like spaced out, spaced out uh, springboards, and like they're good and they're bad at the same time. Like if I, if you can, can you actually fit inside of this area? I don't know. There's something I, I have to test things with these, because I always see them and I'm like, okay, well that's not as ideal. But then they seem to always work, so I need to try it out, especially in this circumstance because you have the first two throwing you back. But they're throwing you on a caustic carpet, so you can't really build up stun immunity with that. So it's kind of good that way. I, know, I like that room. And I might look at using it in my castle. Just like exactly how it was set up. Because uh, it's kind of a similar room that I use, I've used previously. But it's set up differently with the caustic carpet and then the, the two charge goils. And I think it's pretty good. I like to see how the masses deal with that. And so get some replays of my own. And then, like, Devlin are just good in general, right? So, there's, you can never really make a mistake by using Devlin. Just trying to chain my stuns together a little bit, since Headshot and Bear Traps both give a stun. If you auto-attack in between Bear Traps, if there's, like, one thing to attack... Oh god, I'm gonna die here. Pretty sure. I'm gonna try to dodge everything and hope for a health globe, no health globes. Alright, I'll heal back up and go through this. Holy... This is still good, though. Um, let's see, how does... What does this room lead into? What is this room? Okay, so this is... Alright, this is Corner Corridor from a linear chamber or whatever. Mouse wheel room into Corner Corridor. This is a room that I use uh, in my in the beginning of my castle. So I'm kind of trying to see how exactly he has it set up, because it's a little bit different to mine. There's a lot of Ballista Traps here. That's like a ton of them. They're also old Ballistas, I think. 
they look like it, but they don't have, they're like a little bit t tinted, a different color, but I don't know. Oh, and then this is the boss room. That's like really quick boss room. It almost makes me wonder where all the points are. Oh god, this is going to kill me, isn't it? Maybe it's a little too far away. So I'm not a big fan of Dragonificus. Um, he's okay, but I don't think he's nearly as good as some of the other bosses. I know some people really like, they swear by him, but I've never really had him kill me because there's a Dragonificus there. Like, I, most of the time when I'm going to die, it's because, like, any boss would have killed me or something, you know? Oh, that was weird. It almost let me through the door. That was really weird. I wonder if I actually, if I was quick enough there, if I could have done that. But yeah, it seems like really easy to like, I don't know, I'm gonna die, I might die right here. So that's mainly because I'm out of potions. Is he really gonna get another fly with that much health? Oh my god. So usually you can kill him in two, uh, and not let him fly a third time. I might die here, actually. There's like hardly any place to, to move. That's one good thing about Dragonificus, but, oh god. But uh, besides that, I, I feel like you like don't have a full castle, like it was so quick. That was weird. I mean, I died to it, but if I had all of my potions, I feel like I could have made it through. I don't know, it's really weird. That first room's really good, but it didn't seem like it was using a ton of po a ton of points. I guess the, all of the ballista traps, like, that corner corridor, when you fill that room up, it actually takes up, like, 120 points, or, like, it can take up a good third of your castle just through that room, that one room that you have, so. I guess I can understand that there, because I have one in my castle as well. I'm not sure if I didn't notice if you had uh, super trap generators either, but those are obviously really good uh, to reduce some of the point costs and add in another group. It seems like, I don't remember how many groups I went through, but like three or four, I guess. I guess it wasn't too bad in terms of like the length of it. But uh, yeah, it was a really good castle. Um, I think I might have been able to make it through if I had all, my, all of my potions, but it would have been close because I died and I used two at the first room, so that's three. And then Dragonificus, I would have used probably one more there. And I probably would use all my potions, so. Alright, uh, we will jump into the last castle in just a second. Alright, and lastly we have Strong Side, castle levels of 29, validated on this archer. I'm going to go ahead and try to do this on my mage since it's level 29. And we will jump into this castle. Alright, here we go. Alright, so I can see a bunch of devlins over there. There's not really anything on the mage's kit uh, that has that kind of range anymore. At least not that I'm using, so... I'm just going to have to kind of go in and do what I can. Okay, so I made it through it decently. Um, it's a pretty good little group here. I think the archer would have an easier time than maybe the mage would. And, yeah, I'm not really going to discuss the other two people. This is interesting. Alright, I will go ahead and use a potion there. Um, but yeah, so you have a little group here defending a mine. I guess that's okay. It's not something that I normally do because I don't like... I don't like giving the people an opportunity to skip my groups, but it's all right. Um, having no defendatrons does make does make it die a little bit quick, especially like archer or mage can just kind of run in here and not really take any damage. A good a well placed volley or uh, the mage is doing a combo with either thunderclap or vortex can usually kill off a group that uh, doesn't have a lot of tankiness to it or doesn't have a defendatron guarding it. This room is a very big investment as well, with this amount of uh, mouse wheels. And it's almost a perfect um, perfect distance between the mouse wheels that actually allows you to just kind of skirt by them without taking any damage. They're a little bit annoying because you don't have as much uh, space to work with, but besides that, like it's not that big of a deal. So I don't know, I think that part might take a little bit too many points if you're having some trouble with your defense, that's probably where it's coming from. 
is just using mouse wheel traps that aren't really getting a lot done because you know you can place them really easily and it doesn't seem like they're eating up a lot of points but when you actually start placing a lot of them they they really add up to points like same as these uh these springboard traps these two mouse wheels over here you know just a couple mouse wheels that i'm never going to touch um, these springboard traps, I'm always probably going to either leap over them or just quickly do that, and it takes me a couple seconds just to do that. And I get past, you know, nine points here, six points here, um, six points there. This spike trap, I'll probably never go over to that unless I have to. A lot of these mouse wheels in here, like if I just cut this way, um, unless there's a mine over in this corner, which there is, so I guess I, I guess that works, but... You know, there's a lot of little uh, areas here where you're not really... You're not going to be dealing damage to the hero, the the attacker often enough to really make it wor worth it, at least in my opinion. All right, I'll wait for my cooldown to get past these, and then I'll use thunderclap, stun everything up, chain lightning, and block off damage as the uh, thunderclap wears off. I'm going to use my my death bolt to shield myself. I think that's like the ideal way of um, initiating on a group is you kind of just go in. You use Thunderclap when they're stunned. If As long as everything's stunned, you Chain Lightning them. And then as the stun's wearing off, you Death Bolt. And then shield off damage as you're killing off everything. And I think you can get through most castles without taking too much damage, especially if you have high DPS and can kill things quickly. This is fine. Um, all this is great. Although the, the uh, Rotating Flame Trap being up on this side is a little bit questionable. I would probably put it like down in here. But then you have the cross of mind that you have to put either here or just get rid of it altogether. It's just like things that I'm not really ever going to get close to, right? I will, I'll always take this area and try to get through this area because it's a shorter uh, distance. You know, I only have to get past one active panel, whereas if I go all the way around here, I have to get past two active panels. So most attackers should go this way if they're playing Spire. All right, let me go in here. Stun. Auto attack, auto attack, shield. Another chain lightning. I'm trying to get like that combo down the best I can. This might be a problem though. I gotta heal up. Oh god. I need to get out of this area. There we go. I'll be fine now. I'm trying to get the combo down where like how how long it actually takes. Like I think I can do um, thunderclap, uh, chain lightning, two autos. Death Bolt, Chain Lightning, and then Auto Attack, Auto Attack, and then I have no idea after that. Stop breathing fire, I'm so scared of it. Alright, as long as my skeletons are tanking for at least a little bit. So yeah, that's where a lot of your damage is going. Um, if you're noticing people getting through your castle with like one potion left, a lot of the damage is probably, if you add it all up, you know, you could go through and add up the things where people probably won't pass through all of them or will pass through only a couple of them or something like that. Um, and you'll probably realize that it's like a good fourth of your defense points, which is, you know, there, there's your fourth potion right there, right? So you want to try to make it so that everything is... Um, Everything is being passed as often as possible. At least that's my opinion. I haven't been building the greatest defenses, so you know, take take my advice with what with uh you know as a grain of salt for right now because I used to build good defenses, but recently I haven't been. Maybe it's because I haven't tested them as much as I used to, but or just because I've been testing things. I don't know. Either way, um, that's it, my opinion on why I still have one potion left. Um, but yeah, uh, this is number three, so we're going to end the video here. As always, if you guys enjoyed I do, please subscribe. If you want to be a part of Eurocast, you can email me at frenzycastleruns at hotmail.com. Uh, that's in the description as well as a spreadsheet that I try to update once a week. Sometimes it takes me two or three weeks to update it, but uh, it shows everybody's name and when you're going to get your castle ran if you sent me an email. So, um, you know, check the date on it and then... If, uh, if the date is um, after the time that you emailed me and your name isn't on there, then go ahead and email me again because I probably, it probably got thrown in my spam folder or something and I just didn't notice it. Um, but yeah, 
that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.